What's up YouTube? Welcome to Musty Eddie's Tactical HQ. Well today I'm going to be reviewing my fellow Mithers Springfield XD40. Uh, this is on loan from a teammate here in the headquarters. I just want to thank him for letting me borrow this for a little while to do this review. I'm uh, not going to cover what comes in the box because I already discussed that when I reviewed my Springfield XD9. So if you're curious, go ahead and reference that video. I'm going to start off by safety checking the weapon. There's no rounds in the magazine and the chamber is clear. So we're safe there. Uh, the XD comes in several calibers, 9mm like my XD9, uh, 357 SIG, a 40 caliber like you see here, and a 45 ACP. He chose to go with the 40 caliber because he is in law enforcement, he is a sheriff in his respective county, and he wanted something that had a decently high magazine round count, but also packed a lot of power, hence the uh, XD40 40, 40 caliber. Uh, he also chose the Springfield because he already owns a Glock and he has for many years, it's been his service pistol. Uh, but I took him along with me when I went to go test shoot my uh, Springfield XT9 and as soon as he picked this up he immediately fell in love with the grip and the grip angle. And once he actually fired the XT40 he found it managed recoil very well and uh, easily kept nice tight groupings. I believe he even said he liked this better than his uh, Glock, but don't quote me on that, I don't want to get yelled at. It's a Ford service model. It's made in Croatia and imported by Springfield Armory. Like I said, it's a 40 caliber. It has a 12 round count plus one in the chamber, so 12 plus one. Its overall length is uh, 7.3 inches. Overall height is 5.5. With an empty magazine, it weighs in 29 ounces, which is probably why it's not a concealed carry, more of a holster gun. But like I've always said, I don't mind the extra weight. It helps me uh, manage my recoil a little bit better. The barrel is 4.05 inches long. It's fully ramped. Uh, it's a standard rifle barrel. The slide is forged of stainless steel. It has front and rear serrations to help you actuate your slide however you need to. It has a safe action trigger pole here that's between 5.5 and 7.5 pounds, just like a Glock. You can see a little paddle in there. It also has an additional, uh, additional grip safety, like a uh, 1911, and also has an internal drop safety. The recoil system is a full-length steel guide rod with uh, dual captured springs. It has a standard rail accessory down here to accept any uh, lighter laser. A couple other things, guys, that I really like about the XD is the uh, chamber indicator located up here and the uh, striker ready indicator in the back. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like real quick. I know I've already done that, but we'll do it again. So if you have a round in the chamber, that little piece will uh, stick up. I hope you can see it there. So you know there's a round in the chamber, and then this little piece will stick up when your striker is in the rear position ready to fire. These are designed for a low light situation, so if you forget, which everybody can, I don't care who you are, you can simply take your finger up in your holster and check to see if you have a round in the chamber, and then check to see if uh, the striker is ready to fire. I'm uh, not going to go into my rants on why or on defending the XD because I'm tired of it taking heat for all these extra components. I already did that with my Springfield XD9, so if you guys want to know my thoughts on the whole thing, you can reference that video again. The grips down here have uh, stippling, horizontal stippling in the front and the back, also a little bit up here for your finger. It has a standard three dot non adjustable sight. It has an ambidextrous magazine release, which is good for you lefties. Uh, the magazine is uh, stainless steel which help the magazines fly out of here guys. I'm going to tell you we own a Glock and a Smith & Wesson now and these things are definitely the quickest to come out of here. These things just fly out of here so be ready when you hit that button. Uh, I've heard some people complain about the uh, stainless steel magazines. Uh, if you're in a war situation I can understand the complaints but for the average person I don't think the reflective quality of this is a big deal. Uh, I don't need to worry about it when I'm at the range shooting targets or even defending my home because that magazine's already in my gun. It has a very nice space here in the trigger guard to insert your finger if you have gloves. The magazine is ramped down here just like a 1911 to help you insert your, your mags. The thing field strips very easily like a Glock or like my Smith & Wesson. You simply lock the slide back. You rotate the takedown lever. Release the magazine. Release the slide. Point in a safe direction. Pull the trigger. And there you go. You can see the uh, dual springs in there, and there's the barrel. We'll disassemble like a Glock or like my uh, Smith & Wesson. To reassemble, it's just the same. You uh, put it back on here, lock it back, 
Lo rotate that guy back down. Check everything out. Reinsert your magazine. And that's that's about it, guys. Like I said, I haven't actually shot this model, but I have shot XD40. Loved it. I almost bought it, but for me personally, a 9mm works just fine. I like saving the money on ammunition. I don't need to shoot 40, 40 caliber at a paper target. So, uh, great, great gun. If you guys have the money, definitely pick up one of these things. Like I said, we just love, absolutely love the grip and the grip angle. So, uh, Springfield XD40, great, great gun. Um, that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.